Hello guys, um, this is a very quick update video about the model that I've purchased. I did some testing on it and just to let you know I am disappointed. Uh, and it's the skit steer that I recently opened. So I'm just going to bring this out to the yard. Well, the yard that I started. Um, it's not, it's temporary. But, let's see this model right here. Zoom in. Yes. I'm going to be talking about this New Holland L175 Skit Steer by Hobby Works. <sighs> Where should I begin? Oh yes. Paint defect. Let me go in a little bit closer. So everyone can see. Alright. A paint defect right there. Paint defect right there. And on the logo. Paint defect right there. There's some smudging right there. Smudging right there. Lots of scratched paint right here. The plastic's not clear. Well, I don't mind that. And that's what I thought so far. It's just a lot of paint defects. And it's like, oh, it's just, you know, I can live with that. Until um, I've seen this. Alright. Y'all ready? Look at that. It can't even stand on its own. The pistons is too weak. Now how can I use this as a diorama loading a dump truck? Well, whenever I get a dump truck. This is... This is just disappointing. The main portion of the skid steer is the boom that lifts and dumps into a dump truck or pickup or whatever. But how can I do that if you can't even hold it right? Oh boy. And I guess you notice this big gap right here. Yep, that's a big gap right there. I think that's part of the paint, but it's a little gap right here too. So yeah, not very pleased with this model after I can't even keep it up. That's just, this is how high does it go. So this is probably like, you could, I could just use this to push in dirt into a hole. That's all I can do with this model. I can't lift it. You can't lift concrete, you can't lift dirt, you know. I'm talking about diorama concrete, not concrete concrete, because obviously you can't lift it at all. So you can't lift anything in a diorama. So the best thing that this model is for is a transport model. A transport load. You know, put in the back of a um, rollback truck. You know, one of them Peterbilt's that's made by sword. Um, put that in the back of that, put it in the back of a tag trailer behind a dump truck, put this in a um, roll-off container, I've seen that done a couple times, and, or a railroad flatbed, something like that, you know, yeah, and the light is missing right here, yeah, so I'm not very pleased. Um, after the test, I watered down the scale from 3.5 stars to 2.5 stars. So this I will probably not recommend until the problems are fixed. So, uh, yeah, it's a very good model, but this is a lot of defects on it. I mean, it's a very good model. I like it, I like it, I really do, but the defects is just making it, you know, hard to 
deal with it. So what this gonna be is um, if I have a diorama, this will be in the background, like in some construction sites where you see some equipment in the background not working because it's no operator. That's what I'm gonna do with this thing. So it's gonna be in dioramas, which is gonna sit there. Or it might be moved around a couple times and that's it. Or just pushing dirt. You know. That's all I can do with this model. Or put it on a rollback. It's a good model, but it's just a lot of defects on it. You know? I would not recommend this model at all. Um so until the problems is fixed and I'm gonna end this video by saying I should have got a bobcat